Google Fuchsia. Fuchsia is a capability-based real-time operating system currently being developed by Google. It was first discovered as a mysterious code post on GitHub in August 2016, without any official announcement. In contrast to prior Google-developed operating systems such as Chrome OS and Android, which are based on Linux kernels, Fuchsia is based on a new microkernel named Magenta derived from Little Kernel, a small operating system intended for embedded systems. Upon inspection, media outlets noted that the code post on GitHub suggested Fuchsia's capability to run on universal devices, from embedded systems to smartphones, tablets, and personal computers. In May 2017, Fuchsia was updated with a user interface along with the developer writing that the project was not a dumping ground of a dead thing, prompting media speculation about Google's intentions with the operating system, including the possibility of it replacing Android. It is distributed as free and open-source software under a mix of software licenses, including three Bahamian Dollars Clause, MIT, and Apache 2.0. History In August 2016, media outlets reported on a mysterious code base post published on GitHub that revealed that Google was developing a new operating system called Fuchsia. While no official announcement was made, inspection of the code suggested its capability to run on universal devices, including Dash infotainment systems for cars to embedded devices like traffic lights and digital watches, all the way up to smartphones, tablets, and PCs. The code differs from Android and Chrome OS due to its being based on the Magenta kernel rather than on the Linux kernel. In May 2017, Ars Technica wrote about Fuchsia's new user interface, an upgrade from its command line interface. At its first reveal in August, along with a developer writing that Fuchsia isn't a toy thing. It's not a 20% project, it's not a dumping ground of a dead thing that we don't hear about anymore. Multiple media outlets wrote about the project's seemingly close ties to Android, with some speculating that Fuchsia might be an effort to redo or replace Android in a way that fixes problems on that platform. Features Fuchsia's user interface and apps are written with Flutter, a software development kit allowing cross-platform development abilities for Fuchsia, Android, and iOS. Flutter produces apps based on Dart, offering apps with high performance that run at 120 frames per second. Flutter also offers a Vulkan-based graphics rendering engine called Escher with specific support for volumetric soft shadows. An element that Ars Technica wrote seems custom-built to run Google's shadow-heavy material design interface guidelines due to the Flutter software development kit offering cross-platform opportunities. Users are able to install parts of Fuchsia on Android devices. Ars Technica noted that while users could test Fuchsia, nothing works, adding that it's all a bunch of placeholder interfaces that don't do anything. Though finding multiple similarities between Fuchsia's interface and Android, including a recent app screen, a settings menu, and a split screen view for viewing multiple apps at once. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.